When I was in college and getting my bachelor's in 1998, I went to a cafe down on Maryland Park. It was ca called Cafe Copio. And I know the distinct sound between quarter that has silver content. It has a very distinct <laughs> sound. <laughs> really? <laughs> I looked at the cashier and I said, is that silver coins? And the kid was like, well, there's just money. So he was paying <laughs> for it. And so I spoke to the kid. I said, do you have any more of that? I said, for whatever you have, I'll give you a couple hundred bucks for it. You know, and he says, oh, I have a whole bag of it. And so literally oh, I ended up buying all this silver <laughs> That's incredible. at face value, uh, you know, and knowing that today I still have that silver, it's worth more than what I paid for. When we gift wrap something, we obviously take the price tag off, we wrap it up, we put it in a box, put a bow uh -huh. on it. And so I, I did all of that. And when I took the price tag off, I left it on the counter. Uh -huh. um, and she's like, did you take that off? I was like, oh yeah, I did that for you, no worries. She's like, why did you take the price tag off of it? Like, how does the person know how much I paid for it? I was what? like, <laughs> no yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah, man. interesting. Like, <laughs> uh, it almost like tells you how much you care for that person. Like mm. I paid hundred dollars for this dress. I didn't get you a $50 dress. I got yeah, you a hundred dollar dress. Cause they wanted... it's, it shows how much they actually cared. And I think in America, we think oh. of like people, you, the, the care or the value of the gift is how much you thought about. Right. In that culture, it's like, no, it's how much I spent on the gift for you. Right. So right. That's, because they equate that with the and time. Here and it's very taboo. If we accidentally leave a price on a gift, even if it's a lot, how embarrassing is that? <laughs> Wars are inflationary. They're very costly. But if you can stay at a war, do you not ever inflate your money to death? Gold actually keeps you from making war because there's only so much Ooh, gold out statement. there. Big statement. Got the yeah. gold bug. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you think we might not have gone to Iraq if America had stayed on the gold standard? Or Vietnam or the oh, space race. Wow. Why did Bretton Woods happen in 1944? The rest of the world was broke. We were the now the superpower. We won the war with our help. I mean, the Russians, when we look at the Russians and how they celebrate on, on June 9th, you know, the, the history of them winning over the Nazis, it was thanks to the Americans sending them supplies. Part of this, this whole war effort, the U.S. was not being attacked. Yeah. A true free market America. Well, it'd just be interesting. Be like, look at the dollar. You know, it's probably got a shelf life that's coming to the end. But America should be fine as long as we don't force people to like stop mining and and we we let them have the reasons to learn their own lessons. Like, yeah, just and to, I feel right. like we're learning a lesson right now. I like, you know. Yeah. Up until very recently, crypto was just up, up, up. It was always yeah. just like diamond hands. That's all you heard about. Yeah. And now, like, you see people who are just like lost everything or much yeah. of what they put in there. And I think. When, when you only see people winning, more people join yeah. the game. They're like, I only see people winning, and now you see people losing, and I think it's making everyone else like second guess. Like, yeah. <laughs> Americans are very comfortable talking about money. Yeah. You think we need to have a more in-depth conversation with our children yes. and the next generation. Economics should be a class in kindergarten. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah sure. Yeah, I don't see why it wouldn't be. Teaching yeah. children about money. No, it's true. Not in high school. But at the youngest age, do you think the average adult American understands less about finance than average adults in other countries? I'm just curious if the average American is undereducated on just how to balance their finances and how to save for wealth than in other countries. I think Americans as individuals understand money more than, let's say, our government. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Personal, so, you we know, got it. Um, yeah. And there's a movement. Oh, right, there's a kids. movement across, you know, in some states that yeah. you know are making gold. You know, well, and I'm yeah. starting to find a lot of stuff on YouTube that I don't think I would have come across. That's the best and, part. Like, and... well, us tigers. This is the year of the tiger, which is my <laughs> oh. year. That's me too. It's really amazing what we've done here in Las Vegas. There is a very famous temple out in Caesar's Palace. It's a, a Brahmin temple, and it's a beautiful shrine. Gamblers, serious gamblers, the whales, they're okay with spending $20 million a, a roll of the dice, Goodness. you know, or more. And they'll go out, you'll go out there, especially during the Spring Festival or Chinese New Year, you'll see, you know, incense burning constantly, people praying out there. And it is a very, very sacred place. And, and it's fascinating to see uh, how Asian cultures really embrace gambling and games of chance. Is there a lot of mm -hmm. comfort with like possi the possibility of losing that money too? Like, is that, so is that seen as like a really bad thing? Like say they do, you know, lose a million dollars. Is that like, a really bad sign or is that just kind of like oh it's part of the celebration it, it yeah. could be a bad sign it could be the spirits are angry something's okay. not right in the universe 
You know, and it was interesting about the French during World War II, they shipped all their gold to Canada. Really? And the British were upset. They were like, no, 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 you need to use that to buy arms and all that. They were like, well, we've already been invaded by the Nazis. We need, you know, that money to rebuild our country after the war. That is good. Oh. So they were, they were very, very smart about, you know, uh, their, their use of gold. Dude, that's also, yeah. something very interesting about the French and something quite valuable was when the Nazis showed up in Paris and they went to the Louvre and they noticed all the paintings were gone. All the art was gone. They left all the frames. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, the French knew, they said, okay, we can't fight the Nazis. We, we know they're going to come and, and take over most of the country. Mm -hmm. But what can we do to sustain our culture after that? Okay, wow, let's ship our, our gold to Canada. Let's put our art away. And let's do an underground resistance. In the Bible, in the book of Leviticus, Leviticus 25, there is a, a, a series of things that are commanded a recommendation such as you know leaving the land fallow for a year for seven years after seven years you leave the land fallow and you kind of take a respite after you know every seven years this is seven year cycle and on the 49th year is a jubilee year where all debts are forgiven land is returned slaves are freed wow. and we don't know if that ever happened but there are other societies that have had similar things. And I think at this point in society, especially after the pandemic, with the enormous amount of money printing that has occurred, not just in the United States, but globally, inflation is going to be through the roof. The reason why Germany went through such a hyperinflation in the early 1920s was because of the reparations they had to pay back after World War I. Gold actually keeps you from making war. The gold and silver market is manipulated. There is more gold and silver paper traded than exists that have ever been mined. It would be like a rush on the banks of gold to be like, does it all exist? Is it all here? It's the older generation doing everything they can to maintain the status quo and the new generation thinking outside the box. 